uh, uh, actually it's so called yeah uh, and uh, what do you know what do you want to know about <laughs> Um, well, let's see. How many years have you been living in Connecticut? It's not years; it's months. Uh, I have been here eight months. Okay, and and are you there permanently, or are you going? Uh, I'm going studying. Back? Are you like student exchange, or did your yeah, parents I'm, move to Connecticut? Uh, I'm studying in uh, in you know, University of New Haven. Okay. All right. Now, do you wish you could go back, or do you like it? Actually, I like it here, but uh, I have to finish my English program to mm -hmm. enter to the to okay. the uni university. Yeah. Okay. I I hear you. All right. Well, cool. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Laura, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Good How are you today? Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, Shin Yu, you say you're ready? Uh, can you hear me? Okay, Leonardo, are you there? Yes, I can, yeah. Shin Yu. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Yes. Good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, glad you can make it back. Uh, okay, so uh, hello to everybody else. I'm going to go ahead and get started right now. This is a high advanced English class uh, focusing on speaking and listening. Uh, we are going to watch a TED talk and then we are going to uh, discuss the talk afterwards. Uh, but the talk that I have for you today is a model. Okay, it's a woman named Cameron Russell. Does anybody know who this uh, who this woman is? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea who this woman is. But apparently she is a runway model and she models for Victoria's Secret and Chanel. And she's been in many, many magazines. And she's going to give us a 10 minute talk uh, about how looks aren't everything. Okay, how looks aren't everything. So the first thing I want to know is, uh, do you guys think today in this society, do you think looks are important? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, uh, f tell me why you think looks are important. Uh, well, because uh, look uh, gives an uh, impression about the person. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe if uh, they look TD, they may, it means that they are serious and uh, they are organized. Okay. But so, you, are you talking about how they, um, how they, let me think of the word, how they put themselves together, or are you talking simply on, um, on their on their features. No, no, I'm just talking about the uh, outside look. Yeah, yeah, but I, but I mean, I mean, yeah, bro. You know, people can put their clothes on, right? And then people can have yeah, an attractive face, out. right? And so there's a little bit different. So there can be someone that might not be attractive, but is in a suit, and so they put themselves together. So, is there a difference? Uh, yes, there is a difference, but I think in a workplace, uh, face doesn't matter so much. But if it's for a woman, it matters. For example, if she is uh, performing for a secreta secretarial job, uh, look, it matters. And now, why is this? Uh, maybe to, uh, I don't know, to attract more uh, clients because uh, but, but her job is to answer the phone and to assist other people she's not there to uh, just look pretty she's not a piece of art she's, well, you don't you don't put her on the wall uh, well but uh, in an uh, indirect way she attracts men maybe maybe and they'd love to be there every day just mm -hmm. to see her and to make mm -hmm. more business okay so it was benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, oh, oh, that's oh, fair. That's Leonardo, hello, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you, but uh, I can see my my camera. Hello? Okay. If you uh, look at the top right hand corner of your Hangout, that's where all your settings are. And so you can adjust and try to fix your settings, and possibly you can find how to turn on your camera. Okay. Okay. Can, can, uh, can you see me? No, no, not right now. I can only hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, okay, looks are important for women. What about for men? Are looks important for men? Yes. Okay, so now is it equal? Looks are just as important for men as for women, or is there a disparity? Uh, Ishmael, what do you think? Sorry, uh, can you repeat the question because I just uh, uh, fixed my computer? Yeah, no problem. Um, uh, Manel said that it is important for men to be attractive just like women. And then I asked if, uh, if it's on the same scale uh, or is there a disparity between how important it is for men to be attractive compared to women. Is it more important for women to be attractive than for men or are they on the same level of importance? Actually, oh. I think you speak so long, I can't catch the whole meaning. Okay, well maybe uh, Ishmael will help us uh, with the understanding. Uh, I think uh, man and the women, uh, they have to be uh, uh, to be uh, articulative. Because... Attractive? Uh, architect architective, yes. Sorry. Uh, because uh when the man is architective uh the woman will uh, the woman uh, be like the man uh actually the opposite of that okay what is the opposite tell me again uh the opposite is uh the woman should be uh should be uh more uh, more beautiful uh, a woman like, should be more beautiful. Yeah, uh, as the as the man when he is uh, handsome. Okay. Now, um, Laura, do you think that is fair that women need to be more attractive than men? You're asking me. Yes. Okay, Laura. Okay. Um. I think um, it the attractiveness. Must is in the same level but different. I mean, woman has to be more cor colorful, um, colorful than men. But men have to be has us to be attractive. They have to meet this kind of um, task. They have to be strong. They have to have white. Um, so a type of body, a type of behavior, a type of of right. male attitude. You're right. If they don't fit that, if they don't fit that, they are called. Mm, they are not men. They are not attractive to women. You're the, right. Women, we must use makeup. We must use makeup, but we don't have to behave as much as men. Like a tomboy, uh, a tomboy woman, a woman that doesn't use makeup, you don't see her as a non woman. You should see her with a make with a less makeup. You can accept a woman to behave more mm, like she wants than a man. If a man behave a little bit less masculine, you can accept that. Okay. So attract um, it's a different role. Woman has to use makeup, man has to be manly. May I say oh. something? Yes, go ahead, Ukraine. And I do respect what she is saying, but absolutely, um, there are different kind of attractions. Um, people can do whatever they want. 
For example, yeah, there, is a, yeah. there is a stereotype about what men are and what women are, but what about if they want to be different? I mean, I don't see the point. I know that sometimes women are attractive for guys that are not maybe strong or maybe really, really wide arms or whatever, but sometimes <laughs> they just like guys as they are. I mean, I just see, you, I just see your point. But not always is like that. Excuse me, Tisha. Can I have? Uh, can I, Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, women like uh, the man who he who is uh, handsome. So if you are not handsome, uh, the woman she never talk with you or uh, make a relationship with you or like this. So the woman uh, always uh, looking looking for the. Uh, the handsome one, I think that, and uh, that's what I see here. Can I say something, teacher? Mm, yes, go ahead. Uh, well, I think that uh, uh, for women, yeah, they have to be beautiful, and for men, uh, in this world, they have to be rich. I mean, if you want to be treated treated better than the others, like uh, with advent, you have the adventures and. Uh, I don't think that a woman has to wear makeup to look beautiful, or and if she doesn't wear makeup, she is tomboy. She just uh, these are just uh, like personal preferences. But uh, still, and uh, for the behavior, uh, both men and women should behave well, and they shouldn't hide be behind their appearance. I mean, just because I'm beautiful doesn't mean I can be uh, I can be bad. I can hurt people. Uh, just because I have a pretty face. I mean, both they have to behave well, because at the end of the day, it's uh, it's all about the uh, the personality, not the not the look. Because makeup can be washed, and uh, the hair will be not fixed uh, when you go to sleep again, and just a you know just a cover. That's all. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I have experience about that. So when sorry about I say about uh, the nightclub, I like this. So when I was in the nightclub, uh, I was dancing with a girl, and some and she uh, was talking with the, the with the her her friends, and she said, "Is uh, is he is he cute or is he handsome or, or like that?" So if she if she, uh, if uh, her girlfriend say yes, she will dance with me, uh, but if she say uh, no. She never uh, dance with me, so I think I I think it's a uh, woman should be handsome uh, to uh, introduce himself to the girls and uh, like this. Okay, but as you as you said, it, apparently some women it's important for their friends to also find you attractive. It's not enough for only the one girl to find you attractive for her to. Uh, to to accept what she thinks and what she believes, uh, her friends also have to find you attractive. Because if, even if she finds you attractive, if her friends don't like you or don't find you attractive, they're always going to talk bad about you. Therefore, she's just going to get trouble from her friends, and she's not going to like the relationship that she's in. But if her friends agree with her and say, yes, we approve of this person, then it's easier for her to go forth and uh, try to start a relationship with the guy that she originally liked. Uh, do you guys do this? Do you ask your friends uh, if before you date somebody, do you ask your friends what they think of the person, and do you no, take don't. that into consideration? No. 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 You, no. Did you when you were younger? No. No, never. Okay, no. that's good. That's really good. I like to hear that. Now, um, do you think looks are everything? No, of course, of course not. not. Okay, good. Um, and I, I, I do agree with what someone said. I forget who said it, but uh, you know, it is important to some degree uh, to be attractive. It does help you get certain things, uh, and. The pretty, the prettier you are as a woman, um, I think men are willing to put up with uh, the problems in your personality or how you yeah. act, 
Uh, and for men, uh, the more money you have, women are willing to uh, look past the other problems that you may have. Uh, and so it's interesting because men can be a attractive to some degree, but if they have money, it, it helps them out. But for women, it's only attractiveness. And the higher they are in attractiveness, the more they can get away with their personality defects, so to speak, or how they act. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, what does it mean um, to be privileged? To only care about useless things. I think to have uh, advantages. Okay, what type oh. of advantages? Not fair ones. Not fair ones. Okay, so um, you get things first. You get noticed first. You get jobs first. Uh, yeah, lucky, but based on um, certain qualities. The reason uh, maybe some people are privileged is because they have an unfair advantage, maybe in the looks, or maybe in money department, or maybe even in their brains. And sometimes when we are born, we cannot help how attractive we are to other people. We are just born with what we have, and some people uh, are luckier than other people, and they get certain privileges based on that luck. So if you are uh, a very attractive woman, maybe uh, you can get, uh, men will buy you drinks for free, right? That's a privilege that some women don't get. So a woman goes to a bar and she gets her drinks always paid for. She never ever has to pay for drinks. Uh, other women will have to pay for their own drinks. Uh, so that's a privilege. Uh, you can say the same thing with uh, people with money or connections. Yes. So maybe this person gets a job because they know uh, the owner of the company. So it's not that they are more qualified for the job. It's simply because uh, they know the person that created the job. So that is a privilege that they get. Okay, so privileges um, are are a type of luck. They are they are a type of luck based on circumstances in our life. Um, prejudice. Yeah. Okay. To be privileged, there are prejudices against other people, and therefore you get that privilege. Um, so you could say a teacher has a favorite student and so they always let uh, that student um, leave first uh, from school or maybe they get the first choice in candy or games uh, at school and that is a prejudice because the teacher is um, giving advantages to one student while being prejudiced against all the other students. So yeah, Manel, that's that's a very good word. For someone to have a privilege, there has to be prejudice uh, somewhere else. Um, what does awkward mean? Awkward means like the difficult moment where you are facing, for example, what I say, well, it's an awkward moment when you meet someone that you don't like or something like that. It was an awkward moment. Okay. It, it is an awkward moment also where you feel uneasy or uncomfortable in that situation. So maybe... Um, uh, okay, you, you say, oh, congratulations. Oh, you're pregnant. Congratulations. What are you going to call uh, your baby's name? And the woman looks at you and she goes, uh, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm fat. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just a bigger person. Okay, that's awkward. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I am going to walk away now and never talk to you again. So, yes, that is awkward, weird, or odd. Okay, very good. Um, what about horrified? If you are horrified with something, what does that mean? 
Maybe you're afraid of something, but more than afraid, you're horrified. <laughs> scared. Okay. Um, it is scared, but also with another word. It's scared and I think almost shocked at the same time. I believe that this situation is happening. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Okay? Uh, it's unreal, so to speak. Uh, so, yeah, something something very disturbing, something shocking, something that you cannot wrap your head around. It just does not make sense. You don't understand it. Uh, and you're horrified uh, that that would ever take place. So when a man uh, goes and goes kills like 50 children, you're like, oh, that is disgusting. I am horrified and shocked that someone would go to a school and kill children. Like, I don't even understand that. So I am horrified by that behavior. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, right now what I'm doing is I'm just going over a few words uh, that we're going to hear uh, in the lecture. Uh, just so you understand them when she speaks about it. So, what is a legacy? A heritage? Heritage. Okay, yeah, it's a heritage. It's something you leave behind. So, um, your legacy is how people remember you after you are gone. Um, so it's a little different than heritage, but it's still, it, it, it is similar. Um, because, yeah, your legacy is basically how people remember you, and, but based on what you did or what you achieved in your life. That is your legacy. Uh, okay, and what does it mean to, uh, to have an outfit change? An outfit change. Change your clothes? Yes. <clears throat> yes, it's simply saying I'm going to change my clothes. That is true. And so uh, models, uh, when they are on the runway and they're walking, they have many outfit changes because they have to showcase many different styles of clothes during that, uh, during that fashion show. All right, now, um, um, this video is about 10 minutes long, and what I want you guys to focus on is one question, and then we will, uh, I will ask you about that question later, and then we'll talk more about what uh, Cameron Russell said in her talk afterwards. But this okay. is the question I want you to focus on. What are some of the real benefits that come from looking like Cameron Russell. So if you are a model and you are a beautiful person, whether it's a guy or a girl, what are some real free benefits? Okay, and do we understand the word free benefits? Yes, you don't have to pay. Okay, and it's something uh, that you either want or need uh, or that's given to you for free. You did not have to work for it. You did not earn it. Uh, you, it was given to you for free. Okay, so yes, those are free benefits, and that's what I want you to focus on um, as she is speaking. Okay, so please go to YouTube. Nothing's loaded yet. I'm going to load the video now. Please send us the link. I will send you the link. But if you watch this, uh, please mute your microphone so we do not hear uh, the video being played until you're finished with it. So there's the link. Okay. Uh, and also, for everybody else who is going to watch this with me,
Okay, you have the ability to uh, pause or play this um, this video, and I I plead with you. I ask you, please don't touch it. Um, also, this uh, video is nine and a half minutes long, so if you have any questions, just put it in the chat box. Save your questions till the end of the video. Um, if you're going to watch this on a different uh, page, uh, please mute. Mute your microphone. Please mute your microphone so uh, we don't uh, are we're not disturbed as you're watching it on a separate page. Uh, again, please just focus on uh, um, what Cameron Russell says about the real uh, free benefit that she experiences uh, looking the way she does. Okay. All right, so if everybody is ready, I'm going to start the video. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and just put it in the chat box and try to hold your questions till the end. Okay, here I go.
Um, and I feel like there's an uncomfortable tension in the room right now because I should not have worn this dress. So, luck went out. Uh, Samuel, you need to please mute your microphone. We can hear the video being played.
Okay, guys, um, that's the talk. Uh, any uh, first impressions on uh, how you felt or what you thought? Um, yeah, sure. Um, well, well. Um, don't get me wrong. What I'm gonna say, but I think now she took advantage of all, all her beauty. She's saying this thing because, I mean, now she. I don't know why she decided maybe to retire, but when she was involved in the modeling world or this kind of, um, yeah, what I say, the modeling world, she didn't think about it. Maybe after ten years, she is now saying this talk. So, um, I don't know, but um, maybe she is sincere what she's saying, but at this point, when she took advantage of all her modeling and she got all the, you know, all the famous things and stuff, um, I don't know, it's like a bit of sweet sensation about what she said. I do respect what she said, but and she's tried in many things, but um, I don't know um, how true is this after she took advantage of her beauty. Well, sometimes um, it was her advantage was just giving to her. Um, it, it just happened because she was tall, thin, and white. Uh, and maybe she just thought people were nice to her. Uh, and she didn't understand why, and or never thought about it. Uh, why are you, you know? What's why would someone think about why are people being nice to me? Maybe because most of the time, when people are nice to you, you think, okay, well, I'm a nice person. They should be nice to me. But uh, maybe she did not think it had to do with, you know, all of her looks. Uh, maybe she was in denial because, like you said, like she said, she was insecure about herself. Um, and so, just because of what other people saw, maybe she herself did not see it. And so she didn't think that people were being nice to her maybe all the time because of her looks. Maybe it was, you know, that she was a nice person. But I do, I do like what you say. Um, and I think, you know, I think for white people, uh, myself included, we, we just, we don't recognize, um, all the advantages all the time until we start questioning what's actually going on and you start seeing um, the disparity of how other people are treated. Uh, my fiance is um, is a Guyanese woman uh, and you know she she has dark uh, dark hair and dark eyes and uh, a darker complexion than me and people treat us differently uh, into our faces uh, and so for me to even understand what this woman is talking about I had to be dating uh, Sue uh, we've been together for five years and so now I'm actually very aware of uh, this situation but before ever meeting her I was uh, what's the word I was ignorant I was ignorant to the fact uh, Laura, wh what do you want to say? Yeah, I, I agree with that. That is very shocking. Uh, it's kind of disturbing uh, and disgusting at times because uh, the girl's not even old enough to have her period to be a woman and now people are gawking over uh, her looks and um, yeah, that I, I would never want my, my daughter uh, to be looked in that way uh, and I don't think I would ever allow her to be a model at that young of an age. I would want her to make it, let it be her own decision when she um, was a little older and could think about uh, all of that. Now, yeah, it's possible, but now it's possible that they pushed her into it. Uh, most people see it as an opportunity uh, to build a resume uh, or make money uh, and so yeah it's yeah um, I don't know I don't know what else do you have to say anybody before I, I start asking some questions yeah well, I, sorry go ahead 
No, you go ahead. And now, okay. and now. It's fine. <laughs> go ahead. Don't worry. Okay, we talk. So uh, I don't see a point uh, in this TED talk also, because uh, uh, because what the modeling, uh, the ideas of uh, how a person or how a girl should look is uh, is all over the world, and uh, one TED talk won't change anything. For it. I well, mean, it won't change the beauty concept. Yes. It will not. But what about the fact that people will now be aware of the idea that what they see on TV, what they see in magazines is fabricated. And by her showing the pictures of her in a magazine or a model shoot and then her just a few days earlier at a slumber party or at the soccer team, they can now humanize her. And now they can see her as a real person. And before, maybe they did not see that. And I think what she wanted to break the barrier was that since we all recognize that image is powerful, maybe we did not recognize that image is superficial. Or maybe we did recognize it, but we, we, were, we, we didn't believe it uh, at heart. And maybe uh, she is opening uh, the covers over our eyes and letting us in on the secrets. So now every time you look at a magazine you can see these beautiful men and women and say you know this is not who they truly are and I should not feel insecure about myself because I do not look like that yeah Ben I do see your point but actually what she didn't do that when she was on the top of her career that will be That's more true. impacting yeah but now she maybe as I'm saying she now maybe after 10 years she's doing this talk and I absolutely right. I mean, she is absolutely right with what she's saying. But she would have been doing this when she was on the top of her career. It would have been more maybe impacting, or would be more helpful for people. Okay. Now here we have two sayings in America: uh, "Too little, too late," or uh, "Better late than never." So, which is this talk? Is this talk too little, too late, or is it better late than never? So is it, should it this talk have at least been said? Is it important? Even though it might be late, is it, is it better than never having the conversation at all? Or did it come too late and now it's not effective? Well, I would say it was, well, it's um, better late than never. Absolutely, absolutely. But um, it would have been... It wouldn't have been, as, I'm sorry, I think it's not going to have the same impact, maybe, uh, is it, uh, that's maybe the point, but okay. I, I mean, she's maybe absolutely right, the, I mean, the uh, Laura, go ahead and go. No, no just, they are the correct words, just they are not in the correct time. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I can agree with that. Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, it is better late than never. And so maybe the timing's not perfect, but is anything perfect? Uh, and maybe it's just important to, you know, finally get those words out there um, uh, before, you know, so many girls at the age of, what is it, at the age of 13, 58% of American girls are uh, not happy with their body. And by the age of 17, 78% of women are not happy with their body. Okay, but you why, know, teacher? Why? Yep. They are unhappy because of the social pressures put on them to look a certain way. Um, that's why uh, everybody looks at some surgery and they think that's a viable option. I mean, surgery is huge in America. Uh, oh, you don't like yourself? Just make some money and then fix yourself. Okay. Um, can, can, this teacher, can you write why? Because maybe I, I can't understand some words. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me think about it. Um, one, people think it's a quick fix. Okay. Um, also, images are 
powerful and think about um, how much how many advertisements we see all day and think about um, how magazines and TV shows and movies and uh, music artists right they all show us the same thing what does what do all of those industries want us to think beautiful is they all have the same image in their head of what beautiful is and so they are advertising the image of beautiful and it's only one image it's one style okay and now the whole world or at least whoever gets those messages now believe that this is the only way to be beautiful and if you do not look like this then you are not beautiful and that's why it's dangerous and that's why um, all these young girls are insecure and unhappy with themselves and their bodies is because they don't look like that you know there's only a small percentage of women in the whole world that are tall thin and white with blonde hair and green or blue eyes I mean we're talking about less than one percent of women and if most of the images you see in movies and music videos and magazine covers uh, and they're all of those women then you're going to think okay that's what beautiful is and if that's not me then I am not considered beautiful and if I don't have those things then there must be something wrong with me and that is why it's a problem <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? it's not a huge is issue I mean women yes, have been like that from centuries, years, ages for a long, long time maybe today's blonde, tomorrow will be black, whatever it's, well, you're, you're it's very been the right. same for, for all people don't change it's the way they, they, they deal with their problems what changes okay well maybe it does not change but excuse me most people are unaware that this image is manufactured most people uh, do not think for themselves because most people are not even taught to think for themselves most people are taught to accept authority in every situation and therefore uh, it is harder for people to think for themselves and to accept themselves because nobody in school ever says it's okay to be yourself that's not what they teach you they simply teach you to listen to authority and to obey and respect their rules and whatever they say is true and infallible right um, and every country is different in Brazil uh, maybe they have different models um, showing different things in Africa in Kenya you know their magazines will be different but there will still be a standard set of beauty and whatever that is um, it will be based on that country and maybe not everybody has that image and if people are not taught to believe in themselves and to think that they are beautiful at, like they are as they are then it can be very problematic and people are going to feel very insecure about themselves because all of these images are being advertised I mean go away from images um, or on looks think about uh, coca-cola right they advertise uh, the idea of if you buy coca-cola you will be happy if you don't have coca-cola you will not be happy it's the same thing you know but now we're talking about looks okay if you look like this you will be happy but if you don't look like this you won't be happy so buy my product and you will be happy yes. it's, 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 it's a lie you know it's all a lie but if you're not aware of this if you don't know this then your entire life you're just gonna be upset with yourself you're gonna be mad at the entire world because you are not privileged you know, you don't have the cards stacked in your favor.
Um, how do you understand what you're trying to say? But there is a point here that we have to take into account. For example, um, you maybe the person can't change, but what about the society? I mean, the society is going to be more difficult for them to change because if the person says, "Okay, I'm beautiful as I am," but we're for the, not for the society because maybe the person before she was were, you, she was maybe wearing makeup and she was doing her hair and she was doing many things, but after that she decided not to do it because she said, okay, I'm beautiful as I am. But after that, maybe the people change with her and maybe they, the way the people approach her is going to be different because she is not as beautiful as she was before. So maybe maybe the person can change, but what about the society? I mean, it's going to be more difficult for the society as a whole to change? Well, I think the society, um, for this to be common uh, and for society to change, um, the only way society changes is the, because we live in a capitalistic society, society changes based on the decisions we make most of the time with our wallet. So if you do not agree with uh, the image uh, of these women and say, oh, I don't believe in that, oh, I don't, uh, I don't agree with that, then don't buy the magazine, don't buy the product. And then uh, the company itself will ask themselves, wait, we're losing money, why are we losing money? Oh, it's our image. Society does not agree with our image, so now we need to change it. Okay, what does society want? What do they think now? society now thinks this is beautiful. It's beautiful uh, to just be yourself and uh, to be unique. And so then that company will start showcasing uh, themselves as unique and the ability to love themselves and then it will change. Um, and that happens when you decide to not put your money into these um, these false advertisements that are basically creating lies. So every time you buy, you know, Coca-Cola, you say, "I accept what Coca-Cola is doing" in every sense of the word, because yeah. you are buying their product. No. Yeah. Okay, it's your can I tell you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, you were talking about the girl. Why they didn't like, uh, don't like uh, them body or like this? Uh, yes. My responsible about that uh, subject is, uh, I think the one solution is uh, the, gov the government of uh, the U.S. They should separate the women and the men. They should uh, do what? They should separate it, the, the men and the women in the classes. Okay, and how do you think that would help? That will help. Uh, uh, that will help to uh, to quit uh, je jealousy uh, between the girls and the girls. They didn't know who is who is the beautiful than the another girls. You know what I mean? Okay, I see your point. Um, I worked in Asia for three years, and I think a big thing um, with that is people wear the same uniform. Um, if people wear the same uniform, they feel connected and, and they feel that they are on the same level. But when uh, no, people I, wear I, different I, clothes, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking. Uh, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the unfair. Unfair. I'm talking to separate the girls and women, and the men be together and the women be together, because when they are uh, together. Uh, the man, he, the man in the school, do uh, were looking for the beautiful woman. So, uh, the 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 woman will be in the fair. It's uh, the ugly woman. So that will be uh, jealousy between the girls in the school. And, well, but, uh, but the, and the girls, she is not beautiful. She will now, uh, she is not beautiful, and she will try to uh, to change his style. To change, uh, to change his uh, body and like this, but if they are separated, uh, if they are separate, they didn't know who's the beautiful and who's the ugly. So when they meet uh, each other in our
outside they will they will uh, I mean the ugly woman she will find her a uh, chance with the woman uh, with the man uh, and also the woman uh, the man who uh, who is uh, not handsome he will find his uh, chance to find her like uh, beautiful or not beautiful okay well um with that I don't know if I can agree only because it's a very temporary solution like Manel said you know once you do go outside of the class you still have all of these images of what beautiful is and so uh, women could, are still going to be jealous of each other even outside of the classroom because they have all these other concepts of what beauty is and they either are or they aren't uh, now Laura I want to say something about what you said you say we should all wear burqas now mm -hmm. uh, women should wear burqas and um, do you think that is um, I mean don't you think that's a very severe uh, way to so solve the problem um, to just hide women um, Women are men, <laughs> but I'm just joking. No, oh, you're just joking. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said both enough. sexes. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, this class is over. Thank you for the conversation. I teach the very next class, so I have to go. I enjoyed this talk. Thank you, everybody, for sharing your opinions. Uh, I hope you enjoy the class, and maybe I will see you again. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, you, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you.